everybody, what's up? Last week on this channel, you saw me put up a video of me building this LEGO set without the instructions. I still have the instructions taped up, have not opened them yet, but since the last video, I got my brother to purchase the same set here, and he built it up, and I'm going to do a comparison video between mine and the one that he built. So, this is the one I made. I made this without instructions, I just based it off of the box art. Um, I did the best I possibly could to have made this. Uh, and I'm no, I know it's not perfect, I could tell it's not perfect. Uh, the biggest thing I know isn't perfect is over here. This sticker is on upside down on mine, I put that on wrong. So I did the whole thing without instructions, including the stickers. So let's zoom out and take a look at both of these, shall we? So, comparing them, for the most part they look pretty similar, I'd say. Let's just get a couple different angles of them. Look about the same, I think. Um, from the top, at least, that is. Obviously, some stuff is going to be different. And we're going to be zooming in and taking a look at the differences in this video. So we're going to start on the back, because the back was the hardest for me to build. Here's a look at the back of mine. Uh, I think I did alright with that. And the back of his. So the biggest thing I'm noticing is there was a brick. A black brick that should have gone there. Which I didn't have. And also, I used the wrong color piece here. I'm not really seeing any other major differences at least. They look pretty much the same from the back angle it looks like, except for that little mistake there. Turning them onto their sides. Let's take a look at the correct one first. Um, okay. I'm not seeing, just by looking at this, like, on my own, I'm not seeing many major differences, although, when I put my droid in, my droid does not, like, stay locked in there, like, this one is, like, locked in there. So, I did miss something mess something up with that but that's all right um any other major noticeable mistakes i'm not really seeing anything noticeable again this is the correct one looks from the front pretty close again this one is the original this is the correct one with instructions i think they seem pretty close close enough i would say and then this last angle, I believe, I also got pretty close with this angle. I mean, you can't do anything like major down here, just all the parts moving over. It looks about the same. Um, opening up the cockpit sections, let's take a look at those. This one actually hooks in much nicer. but. For the most part, this is the correct one. I'm bringing in the one I built. This one is a lot looser. But for the most part, the build on the inside looks about the same. I did mess up. I got stuff back here so it's not closing properly. Now the major difference with the two of these is going to happen on the bottom. Because I could copy with this one, with mine, the front. I had pictures of the box. When you take a look at the bottom, you don't get pictures of the bottom. So taking a look at the bottoms of both of these, it's going to be a little difficult to see. I'm seeing a couple things. I don't have these red bricks. I was wondering where they were supposed to go. I had no idea. The center cockpit parts look about the same. Um, surprisingly, most of the bottom looks right, except for down here, underneath these wing flaps on them. Mine looks totally different. Let's zoom in closer for that. So it looks like, if you ask me, that I totally built the bottom of these wings wrong. Because I'm looking at the correct ones, and that's what the correct wingspan looks like. Is that going to stand? Oh, that's pretty awesome. You just stand it up. So that's what the wingspan on the bottom is supposed to look like, as opposed to mine, which doesn't stand, 
Uh, barely. Hold on. As opposed to mine, which isn't standing up. I think that's because I'm missing a brick or something on it. But just taking a look, you can see I made mine differently. I had... Oh, wow. Wow. I had these pieces in the totally wrong spot facing the wrong direction. Oh, that makes so much more sense now. So that's how they got that to look like it was underneath. I'm like, I'm just like, it's like an aha moment. Like you just realized what you were building along the whole time. So they're completely symmetrical on the correct version, which is this one and my version, not so much. I would say for the most part, I mean, looking at the top of the wings, nothing really much different with these. Well, wow, I would say that for the most part, these were pretty similar. Um, I obviously did mess up some basic little things on it, which was obvious, but for the most part, I think I did a pretty good job modeling a version without instructions off the pictures on the box, and this is a correct version, and I feel they look pretty similar. Uh, not perfect, obviously, but I think I did a pretty good job, and I might try to make more LEGO sets without instructions in the past. It was, not in the past, in the future. It was a fun experience trying to build the set without the instructions. I think it was a pretty enjoyable build. Thank you all for watching this video, and I'll talk to you again in my next video.